This short film gives a flavour of a workshop on tree work and grounds maintenance. It was devised and organised by IOSH East Anglia branch in collaboration with IOSH Rural Industries Group. The operations shown are often carried out by contractors in urban or industrial environments and at construction, utilities and transport sites, not just in the countryside. The specific health and safety hazards, necessary precautions and training required to ensure safe operations are often not appreciated by clients. IOSH Rural Industries Group is keen to raise awareness of these through similar events with other branches and organisations. Well, IOSH is the world leader in, uh, in terms of an institution for representing health and safety professionals. And what we have are local groups or branches, and, and we're all volunteers, and what we do are lay on events such as workshops and seminars for the benefit of, well, in East Anglia, there's something like 1,600 members. And we've got some of them here today. We've organised a tree safety, landscaping and would you believe caterpillars workshop um, where we've invited members from, from IOSH and non-members to come along and just sample some of the things that they could be doing um, in terms of tree safety and landscaping. Um, some of the things they can go out there to do to stop um, accidents happening with, with trees basically. We're here today as an uh, arboricultural tree shed, um, Safety Health and Awareness Day, and we're all working well together. It, we're here as UK Power Networks, we're supporting IOSH. All sorts of people have turned up today, 119 here, it's fantastic. Today I'll be showing them how to stay safe near our overhead power lines and underground cables. It's a bit hard to take a huge pole around, so we've got a fiberglass pole here with a cross arm on it with, with some pyrotechnics, and the idea is that uh, we tell people how safe it is, but we also talk about a consequence, and that's reinforced with a small pyro flash, um, just to tell them, you know, to look up, look out. It's really important that people do that. It's a display of uh, tree work. We're, we're hoping to show um, good practice, but also we've put some deliberate mistakes on the work site. And when the uh, delegates come out to, to take a look at the site, we're going to ask them as if they were assessing the site as if they were the safety managers on the site. And so that they can have a look to see if they can pick out the good and the bad, bad points, the non-compliances. Well, I've been asked to represent the NSTS, the National Sprayer Testing Scheme, uh, to put over to people the importance of having their sprayers tested and having their operators up to some certification of competence, all to do with the new SUD directive, uh, which has been pushed forward from the EU, uh, which will now bring the amenity side and other pesticide users up to the same uh, stage and professionalism of the uh, farmers who have been doing it for the last 10 years. First of all, I'll describe the landscape and grounds maintenance industry, which a lot of people don't understand what we do. As I always put the analogy, where there's grass, somebody cuts it. And the safety issues are quite uh, high, as we've discovered in more recent research. And I think it's important to get that message across to people. I think the key thing is that, that people are, that they must be trained properly and that we want to make sure that the clients who employ contractors are looking at, a very, at the safest contractor that they can take on board to try and get rid of the, those in the industry with white van man is probably the, the, the thing to call them but uh, those that have no training but are under, undercutting those who have spent a lot of money on training their employees and providing all the right equipment for them. 
When I came here this morning, you know, how difficult can it be to, to do a little bit of tree surgery or, or get involved in a little bit of pesticide activity? And the, and the answer is it's quite difficult, actually. There's a lot to, to look at. There's a lot of things to understand that I didn't understand before I came here today. But just having the knowledge of the right things to ask people and the right things to look for uh, and just generally understanding something that perhaps on the outside might seem you know, relatively simple to begin with. So hopefully people have a, a better uh, understanding and knowledge. That's not something... That's just, you know, just simply cutting a tree down. This event was organised and sponsored jointly by IOSH East Anglia branch and the IOSH Rural Industry Group. The successful format provides a model that can help other branches deliver the key message to as many people as possible. We'd like to thank national bodies and local companies who provided speakers and equipment and Strike One Media for producing this film.